me, please. I need some help with my car, please. I'm sorry, we're closed. Look, baby. Baby, look at me. Look at me. All right, look at me. We can get through this, okay? We can get through this. I'm just gonna sort the car out and then we're gonna, we're gonna go, all right? We're gonna go and we're not gonna look back. Yeah, we're not gonna look back because we can beat this. All right, we can beat this, I promise. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding. I know, I know. I'm bleeding. I know, I know. Yeah. but I'm gonna get his help, I promise you. All right, I'm gonna get his help. Please, just look at me, look at me. Just stay away, all right? Please, just stay away. Please. Hello? Is he all right? Look, can you just have a look at my car, please? I don't know what's wrong with it. I just keep, it just keeps stalling. I don't know what's going on, and I really need to get going. Is please. he okay? Yeah, but is, is he okay? Can you please just look at my bloody car? Okay, okay. Please, just tell me what's wrong with it. It won't work. I'm in a real hurry. I've got to go. I can't, I can't hang about, please. All right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Please. Julie, is Max safe? Is he okay? Oh my God. What? What, the skull? Well, he went under again for the skull. But that's what has to be destroyed. Well, yeah, he wouldn't be able to brink again. You can only do it once. Those are the rules. Oh my God. If Max is gone, that means we're next. Look, can you please hurry up? I really need to go. I think you've got a problem with your spark plugs and it seems to be misfiring. What kind of stuff are you mixed up in? There's nothing anyone can do now. No one can help us. No, 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 no. Mickey! Mickey! Mickey, get me out! Get me out, Mickey! Okay, um, I just need to go in the office and check what parts and bits I've got. Mickey, wake me up! Okay, be back. It might take some time. You're back. Oh, it's so lovely to see you again, sweetheart. I need to wake up. I can't... I can't stay here. Your soul belongs to him now, son. You gave it to him when you passed over. It's his now. Surrender to him. Oh, no. No, I... I wanted to see you. I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to die yet. That's not your decision anymore. You'll have to surrender at some point. Now is your time. <laughs> <laughs>
ambulance, please. Baby, 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 please wake up. Please wake up. Please don't leave me. I can see he's bleeding. I don't know what thing they're on, but you need to get down here. I just think that maybe if your grades can't improve and you can't find a way of juggling your home life and your university life, then just maybe it would be worth taking a gap year, like your brother. Nursing isn't something you can just fly by. You're gonna need to get decent grades in order to work at a decent hospital. You shouldn't see it as a negative. Some people just need to recharge and refocus. Honestly, you know? I, I don't think you're out would help me. <laughs> Your brother, I, I spoke to him a, a little while back and he seems to think it, it's done him the world of good since your mother. Professor, my brother is not coming back. What do you mean he's not coming back? My brother, since my mom's passing, he's, he's not been himself. It's not the same anymore. Well, he's quite the daredevil from what I've seen online. That's not the worst part. What he saw online, those stints to become famous or whatever he's doing it for, it's a reaction to the situation. Since mom's passing, he, he's kind of lost control. <laughs> Look, listen to me, okay? You're not alone on this. No one is ever alone, really unless they make themselves. You can be helped if you want people to help you. You and your brother. I know, I, I get it. I screwed up my grades this year. I, I just, I, I'm not taking a gap here. This is the only thing that's keeping me sane. It's the only thing giving me structure. I, I've got to continue the year and just sort my life out. Well, if it ever gets too hard, it then just... It won't get too hard.
Anything important? Just something for mom. It's trash. How was college? It was fine. How was your day? Great, actually. Hit over the uh, 50K mark with my viewers on a new post. You want to see? Sure. Drink? At 4 p.m.? No, then. Suit yourself. I'm good, thanks. Hey, watch this. Where is this? All right, look. <sighs> Why always gotta shim my parade, huh? What are you actually doing? Making something of myself, Lil, that's what. By climbing to the top of some insanely tall building with no protection, drinking at 4 p.m. and flunking college? Yeah, making something of yourself, sure, great. Why are you so quick to judge, huh? I'm trying, all right? We'll try a little harder. You know, it'd be nice to receive just, just an ounce of support sometime. All right, great, just walk away then, great. I see you at breakfast then, Lil, or even same time, same place tomorrow, yeah? We got each other's backs, all right? We do this, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then, worst case, we get woken up. You think this girl will do it for us? You think she'll be there if anything go wrong? Where is she? Thing is, she, uh, one of us might have to do it. Do what? Oh, you're awake. Thought you'd be asleep or something. Who are these people? Go to your room. Nice. Come on. Explain, now. I tried to before I was going to before, but you just stormed off over the side of me climbing a goddamn building. Answer me. Who are those people? I met them online, okay? They saw my videos and said they had this idea. Crazy idea, but a cool idea. What kind of idea? You're gonna freak out. Just tell me. Francis lost his girlfriend in a terrible car crash. He was the driver. It was a total accident that he prays every day that he could say sorry to her. And Francis is? He's a guy in there. What's that got to do with you? He wants to see her again. As does Zara, the girl in there. She wants to be reconnected with her brother who she lost when they were little. What? Where are you going with this? What, you want to play with some Ouija board or something? Jeff, you've lost me. Francis found this thing online, this ritual that means you can cross over into the afterlife. A 
And if you completely let yourself cross over, then you can potentially speak to those who have passed on. Jeff, you've completely lost me. Letting yourself cross over? What are you talking about? It's called drinking. People have done it before and they say it works. You wanna see mom? I wanna do it for my channel. I'll film the whole thing and then post it. Sorry. Have you taken something? What is it? What have you taken? Because only a drugged up lunatic would say something like this. Jesus, Jeff! Listen, all right. I thought it would be a cool experiment, something that might get a lot of views. And I wanted to ask you, ask you if you'd be there, because you do nursing and stuff, just in case anything goes wrong. Because if something does go wrong, you'd be the best person to have around because of your experience. Goes wrong how? It's the way you actually do it. You gotta let yourself drink death. We figured a way of doing it. If you suffocate yourself, let your body go and lose consciousness, then you can actually drink onto the other side. So you guys actually want to kill yourselves for this experiment? Jeff, I'm not a doctor, I'm a training nurse. Well, technically, we're not actually killing ourselves because we come back, we drink death. But technically, you are. You are actually killing yourselves and reviving That's your bodies. That's why we're doing it. We're not getting into this full steam ahead without no research. Jeff, this is crazy. And you're considering actually filming them. You go to jail. I'm not considering filming them. I'll be doing it with them. <laughs> You're kidding me. But then do it for me. Do it for me, do it for us. Because if you don't, then we're just gonna do it anyway. With or without you. We leave in the morning. On the coffee? Thought you threw the towel in with that stuff, eh? Make me one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need it today. Camera check. Sound equipment check. Diva light check. <laughs> What's a diva light? <laughs> I saw some trashy girls online using it. They said it was the most complimentary type of lighting. <laughs> you wanna look sexy when you die? Why the hell not? I'm not just doing this for my channel, right? There's a chance I can see mom. Say goodbye. Properly goodbye. It's a risk worth taking. And I thank you for being there. You supporting me, it means a lot. Come on, let's get going. We've only got the church for a few hours. We got until noon to get up out of here. You think I want to risk getting caught? Stuff already in the back room? I got it all set up, bro. I got the key to lock it up. We can fix it later on. What stuff? Got to make a show of it, ain't we?
seeing you. You soon get bored. We see it every day. Come on this way. Hey guys, Jeff here, Daredevil Genius. We have a wild one. Something that I've never done before. Well, especially not as dangerous before. It is close to the wire, guys. And everything you're about to see today is completely and utterly real. Now we all take responsibility and full consent for what we're about to do because it is pretty fucked up. So we all take responsibility. Am I right? Yeah. I take full responsibility for my actions today. That's right. I'm here because I want to be. Ain't nobody forcing me to be here. In today's video, we will be drinking. A legend that goes that if you say this ritual and then focus on your loved one, completely focus your mind on that loved one, then it is said. Then it will bring them forward. And then, if you let your body pass on, then you will be able to connect with them. But fear not, we do not intend on staying dead. An unknown helper will resuscitate us after three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we do not advise trying this at home. We ready? You ready? What have I got to do? It's simple. You watch the timer, and after three minutes, wake us up. to make history. To the powers, powers that see, to the, the powers that be, let, let them, them be present, and let, let us cross over in peace, and return, return in the life to the powers, powers to see, to the powers that be. Let, let them be present. And let us cross, cross over in peace and let's return in life. Okay. Now think of your little brother and speak the last memory you have of him. And when you're ready, we'll begin. My little brother Isaac. He was 10 years old when he left this world. He snuck out of the house. Dad had no idea. He went to a nearby construction site. He was running around he heard a police car. He thought he'd get caught. Both of us running as fast as we could. It was the last time I saw him. I had no idea what had happened. But he'd hit his head on the scaffolding. left. Maybe if I'd stayed, he'd still be with us today. But I didn't notice. I just couldn't see him. Isaac. I'm coming. 
alone for you now. You're not alone. Start the timer. Start the timer. Is she dead? Start the timer. Do it now, Lily. Come on. Come on, we gotta get moving. Man. Man, I'm sure. You don't have to do this. No. I wanna do it. I wanna do it. Say your memory. Let's get this over. Girl, Amy, remember the way she smoked that day? It was our anniversary. Truck, man. She came out of nowhere. I never reacted in time. I'm ready, Jeff. Let's do this. Let's do it.
Amy? 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 be my natural instinct to try break free. I need you to hold me down. I won't do that. Don't let me down. Jeff. Last time I saw you, Mom. It's when you left the house that day. If I'd have known anything, would it ever happen to you? I'd have never let you go. I wish I could say goodbye to you. Tell you how much you mean to me. I'm sorry I'm such a fuck up. I want to make things right. I want to make this all right. I miss you, Mom. Lily, do it. Do it, Lily! Lily, do it. Are you here? Are you here? <laughs> Did I scare you? Amy? Amy?
here. Amy? Is that you? It's me, Francis. I can't... I can't believe it's actually you. I can't believe... I can't believe you're standing here... right in front of me. I can't believe it. Is my sister, a little girl, like, like me. She grew up. I, whilst you were gone, I grew up. I'm your sister, Zara. You're Zara? Yes. You're really pretty. Oh, I, I've missed you so much. Love you, Jim. I love you too, Mom. You missed my birthday. I've been alone here, alone on my birthday for a while now. I'm here. I'm here with you now, Mom. For good. Stay a while. Then I have to leave. Leave? No. You're here now. So you stay. The reason I'm here is because I have to let you go. I have to say goodbye. I'm not going anywhere. You can't leave me again. Not now. <gasps> it's always dark here. I haven't seen Grandpa. I'm always alone. In the darkness. Are you staying with me? One day I will. One day I'll be here with you and I won't go anywhere. One day? Yes, one day. But until that one day, I'll be alone. Never alone. Oh. My head hurts. What do you mean? You left me. You left me when my head hurt. It's not like that. It hurts all the time.
I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I'm sorry for that night. I regret all of it. Francis, can you hear me? It's Lily. <laughs> Francis. Breathe. Breathe. That's 
white man. Weak man. Are you sure it was mom? She was different, Mike. There was something different about her. It was mom. I'm sure as hell it was mom. She was in this space. A dark space, right? Abyss of nothing. Just a dark dimension. Otherworldly. We all went to the same place then. We must have just different areas. Areas? Or maybe time doesn't exist. I have no idea what that place was. The ritual, the words we said, I think that brought them forward and we met them in the middle. You mean like some kind of mid-dimension? Some kind of place between the living and the dead? I mean, I guess so. Before I left the war, before I left Amy, it was like it wasn't her. Some happened in that dimension. What do you mean? What happened? Before I woke up, she just snapped. She started to bite me. Everything about that felt real. She started to bite it in my neck. And now I got a mark. Look. What the hell is that? <laughs> like, you, you, you probably caught yourself waking up or something. Come on. I had something similar to. Go on. Look, why you gotta support the negatives all the time? Sarah, what did you see? This thing appeared before I left the world. A thing? Isaac. He vanished. And this thing stood before me, not wanting me to leave that dimension. Wanting to keep me dead. And what did it look like? It wasn't human. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. It was, it was this thing, this monster. It had the face of a monster. Stop. Honestly, stop. You saw it too, didn't you? Answer me! You saw it too, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? Whatever happened on the way out of that place, there's probably our brains getting mixed up in the moment. Like, we were dead. We physically died in that moment in time. Sure as hell our brains are gonna play tricks on us. You think your girlfriend took a bite out of your neck? It was probably the girls being rough-handed with you when they woke you up. And you think you saw a monster? I mean, come on, stop overanalyzing shit. Enjoy that we got to see those who had passed on. Enjoy and feel lucky that we got to say goodbye to them. Jesus, I'm going to bed. You got in here. Can I come in? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, go to bed soon. We'll just have a chat before bed. You doing okay? Fine, yeah. What was it like seeing Mom? You think I'm crazy? No, I don't. 
I believe you believe you saw her. She was real. She was sitting right there in front of me. What happened? What did she say? She was exactly how I remember her. On the day she died, she wore the same clothing, had the same tone in her voice. It was... It was mom. I mean, I just... I just can't believe it actually worked, you know, like... Like it actually worked. to say goodbye to mom. I had one last moment with her. The bell tolls with the reaper's glory. What you've seen in life, you couldn't read the story. You beat the war, you see the snow, but I'm going to be up all night. Don't... Hello? Hey, man, I'm still working. Amy? Amy, is that you? See you up this late at night. Mm, I couldn't sleep. What happened? You're gonna think I'm crazy. Come on, tell me. I saw Isaac. I know it sounds out of this world and in ways. It is. I actually saw him, Dad. What do you mean? He did this experiment to talk to the dead. But it actually worked. Look! What on earth is the matter with you, Zara? Isaac's here! Zara? You're scaring me. Dad, he, he was right behind you! I gave you. I miss you. I know you do too.
I'm not crazy. He was right there. It was like I brought him back from the dead with me. It was too real. Exactly how it felt like when I was drinking. What, do you think he, he came back with you? Honestly, I don't know. But something doesn't feel right. This, this isn't right, what we did. I think you're just paranoid. You've been dreaming of this day for so long, and then finally it happens. Your brain is playing tricks on you, Zara. Don't lead into it. Look, go home, get a good night's sleep. You've been through a lot. I mean, we, we basically died today. This isn't my brain playing tricks with me, Jeff. This is real. Lily, you're a nurse. Come on, tell me, what do you think? I don't know what to think. Maybe he's right. Just get some sleep and see what happens tomorrow. See how you feel. I don't want to go home alone. I'm scared. And I saw it again. Saw so what? That thing. That monster from the other side. It was right there. It, it was stood before me. Please tell me I'm not the only one and I'm not crazy. But, but what, what do I do? Look, I'll make a bed up. He can stay here. Would you mind? No, of course not. Sleep here. She seems better. What are you doing up so late? Just finishing off some editing. Jeff, you gotta put off uploading that anywhere. No, 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 come on, screw that. This was one of the reasons why we did it, come on. You wanna see it? Say yeah, I've been working on it all evening. You are unbelievable. Thank <laughs> you. 
four teens found dead after blinking. Murders after blinking. Lily, cut scene through reality. Lily is the companion to be seen when the Reaper himself appears. Victims claim to see cats stalking our land. Stop death after blinking. The skull is that which contains the power. The myth goes that the Reaper stole the skull from Orcus, the demon god of the underworld. Roman mythology goes that Orcus had the skull of an ancient god, which allowed himself to pour into the dreams of the living, allowing Orcus to breed fear within the living. The skull is its portal to the human world. The skull found in the Grim Reaper's possessions can be found in the other world, but protected by the Reaper himself. The skull. Don't you feel well? <laughs> You're here. I've come to take you back. What do you mean, take me back? You shouldn't have left, and now the bad man's coming for you. What bad man? You can't cheat death, Zara. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? I've been trying to contact you for ages. I took some time off work. What's going on? What's up with you? Zara died. He said it was suicide. 
She hung herself in our bathroom last night. <sighs> fuck, man. I know she was saying things. Oh, fuck, Wait a man. <sighs> Wait a second. You said she thought you were seeing things? What? Well, have you seen things, Francis? Tell us. Something ain't right. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... <sighs> Amy, I think I brought her back. What do you mean? I heard her voice, man. When I was at work, it felt so real. <laughs> Jeff, have you experienced anything? Jeff? You got a minute? Yeah? I gotta show you something. What is this? <laughs> You're a detective now or something? They did it. Three years ago, they did what you did, drinking. Right. And now they're all dead. Not one of them stands to this day. Neil Chambers, he set himself on fire four days after the experiment. Jasha Fletcher, she was last seen talking to herself, and she jumped off a building, claiming he was after her, the Grim Reaper. All four of them were friends. Dow Jones, Nikki Mitchell, they were found dead at the gas station. And the mystery was is how Daryl got stabbed with no attacker. And Nikki stabbed herself in the gas station. Like, what, what is your point? They did what you did. It's been done before. And they were always someone chasing them. They felt like death was following them. They all died the week after Brain King, just like Zal. You're crazy. I may be. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Amy? Amy?
Me free? Can I help you? Aren't you coming back? I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I just wanted to say goodbye to you. But once you leave this world, you cannot return. You need to go. You need to be at peace. So you wish to stay in this world? One day, going to reunite. This is where I belong. The dead can't come back, Francis. Amy. Once dead, your soul belongs to him. You're not Amy, are you? Drive so fast. Francis! Stop! Stop driving so yeah. fast! Please! I don't like it! I was wondering if you could tell me what happened. The girl, Nikki, she was crazy. She came in here saying Gibbs after them, convinced someone stood before her. Well, who did she see? I've no idea. She was panicked. Terrified for her life before she did it. Did it to herself. She really think it was suicide. No. Something was there. Something did that to her. Something not from this world. She said you had to cross over to stop it. Find the skull. But it was all a bit gibberish what she spoke. Francis? Jeff, it's not them. It's not them, man. It's not them. But Francis, what do you mean it wasn't them? It's not our loved ones. It's not in the other dimension. Man, man, man I'm next. I'm next. Francis?
dead can't come back. <laughs> What is it? Lily, you gotta get back here now. Francis, he's next. Jeff, the Reaper, the car garage lady just told me that she said Mickey, she said the Reaper's after her. And she also said about the skull. And online it said the skull was from a god, stolen from a god, Orcus. It said the skull was a portal to the other world. We need to go back there. Gotta go back to where it all began. Graveyard. Francis is really dead. Does, does this mean? Don't. Stop. Stop. We can, we can win this. We can win this. Okay. We just gotta go to the other world. We gotta stop him. We gotta get the skull and destroy it. It's the only way he can get us under and kill us on the other side. Meet me at the graveyard. will be coming for you to bring you back to me. Jeff, hurry up! What are we doing here? You're gonna put me under. I can stop this. What? You're gonna put me under. The lady said that's what they did. You gotta destroy the skull. That's the way to break the curse. How do you know all this? I just know we had to do something. Online, it said you go under to stop it. And May said the other victims, they wanted to go under, but I guess they didn't have anyone to go under for them. But, but you have me. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. What if it goes wrong and it comes after you? Jeff, I'm not losing you. Lily, you have to put me please, under. Please, no. Listen to me. Put me under. Do this for me, not you. For the powers that see, for the powers that be, let them be present and let us cross over in peace and return in light. Powers that see, by the powers that be, let them be present, and let us cross over in peace and return in light. Thank <laughs> you. 
not my mom. You came to see me too? Ready to join your brother? with my head. Get away from her. Get away from her! You left me to die, Lily. You let me out of that house that day without a care in the world. You knew I'd been drinking. You saw me. Stop it. You saw me downing those drinks that morning. Now what kind of a daughter does that make you? You're not my mom. I look like her, though, don't I? Where is she? Where's my mom? Burning in fucking hell. She says hello. She is looking forward to seeing you. Come on! Wake up. Wake up, Lily. Wake. children like you two. Disgusting and worthless. What makes you even more pathetic is that you knew exactly what you saw that morning. You let her drive herself to work even after she asked you for a lift. Couldn't tell your brother that, though, could you? Too ashamed, huh? Let mom go off, off her face. to come face to face with the mess you created? Please stop!
I should have stayed home that day. I shouldn't have relied on you with the light. That's why you should have nursed me. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm such a fuck up. I love you, Lil. I always will. Jeff, what are you saying? She death twice. <laughs> <laughs>